Hello everyone, I realized after the other music theory video post that we have to explore the interval today. Well, actually, um, at this point we cannot move on without it. We have to, we have to know it because in every step I might talk about it. I'll be like, this is the minor third, this is the major third, this is the second, and you'll be annoyed. You know, I cannot do that to you. Uh, and quick thing, if you have voted, w w voted, if you have voted <laughs> for me to do the music reviews, please stay until the end. I just have to ask you a quick question. So let's just do it. Okay, let's get our simple major union scale that we did the other day. Hold on. Hold on. Half tone. Hold on, 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 hold on. Mm -hmm. I've colored them for you. Basically, we're going to treat each as a stair. C being the first one, D being the second one, E being the third one, and so on. I will just mark them so, just in case you didn't get that. <laughs> I'm going to mark this one as the first one, not the eighth one, the, uh, because the distance between the first one and the eighth one is octave. I think you know it. Just going to mark it as first. We measure the distance between two notes, which is the interval, the interval between two notes, by the stairs it has to take, but by, by how many stairs it has to take. So let's say I want to get to this one, G, or the fifth one here. Uh, I have to go from C for the first one, like one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth interval. Distance between C and G will be fifth. And I also I, I would advise you to picture yourself a bouncing wall, starting from the C and going up and going back to the first one, meaning like C, right? C, 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 D, C, E, C, 4, C, 5, C, 6, C, 7, C, 8. Uh, by the way, if I'm being boring, please tell me. <laughs> I mean, I know I might be because a lot of you maybe know this. I don't know if this is being helpful. I'm just going to continue because I did promise to continue. But as you can see, from this close-up vertical view, uh, we have the distance to cover yet. We cannot leave them ignored. For example, right now, we do know how, ma how uh, many steps it takes from C to get E, right? Three, of course. But we don't know this one, right? Well, let me tell you. The steps we'll take will be the same, but we will have different names. The ones we've got so far in our major union scale are uh, major and perfect ones. So the second one, second interval is major. Third interval is major. The fourth is perfect. Fifth is perfect. Sixth is major. Seventh is major. And this is also perfect. The octave is perfect. These perfect ones are just like we're perfect, we don't need another one. Okay. As you probably know, probably know, the opposite of major is minor. So if I will bring them back again to our major union setting and then lower it for each one, you will see the difference because it gets squeezed a bit. Each each interval gets a major interval gets squeezed when we lower it so we have like c d and then we do c d flat right c e c e flat c f c g not touching this one c a c a flat c b c b flat c c okay 
Okay, I cannot let this go. I have to show you what you can do for these two. Okay, these are perfect. They are called the terms of perfect, but they can be changed. You you see this distance, right? You see this. This is the distance we have to cover. So, if you bring this one up, you can totally do that. And it's an interval. It's called triton. Look. One, two, three. Three whole tones. Three. Which means it's a triton. We can bring this one too also. This one. Look. And if we'll ignore this one, you'll have one, two, three. Again, the same one. It's a triton. <sighs> the thing is, the name of it changes uh, according to the scale we're in. In these cases, it's going to get C, D, E, F, G, and so if we change it, we have to change like this F1 to get F sharp, and if we change this G1, it will bring to F sharp again. Which means it's doing like a augmented fourth, like bigger fourth, you know? If we will bring down this G, and we could call it G flat, which it doesn't call, I don't know why. Uh, if we call it G flat, then it is diminished fifth, you know, because we go like one, two, three, four, five, right? And it's a what? It's a fifth. Which fifth? Fifth diminished. Yeah, now you know intervals. I mean, if you did know, I'm sorry for being so boring. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. Oh, wait. About the music reviews. Uh, what should I. Re what, what music you want me to review? You can give me suggestions, by the way. So I just don't come up with random ones by myself. Or if you do want me to come up random ones by myself. What can I say? What? Who am I to tell no? Okay, I'm going to go. <sighs> what is this? Yeah.